Ron and Annette Haben. William and Francine Stein. Miriam Cruz and Lisa Charlo. Daniel and Victoria Dulce. Mark Pugh and Robert Collins. <laughs> and we have Lady Mo and RJ standing in for their parents, Maureen and Raymond Chance. Frederick and Renee Cotto Lewis. Daryl and Rich Rowe. Craig and Don Barton. Texie and Stuart McLean. All right. So, beloved friends, we welcome you to this holy and sacred occasion today as you come forward to renew in your hearts and souls that which matters most. Today you will reveal to another the love that is in your heart. You will, you will recommit to each other for the sake of your love. You will stand before God and your friends and family to proclaim, to proclaim your love and commitment to this soul. Please join me as we pray. Dear God, we bless each one here knowing they are souls on a spiritual journey forever entwined by their love for each other and for God. We bless individuals here in their union knowing this love is from God. We bless each one as holy. We pray this in and after the nature of Jesus Christ. And so it is. Amen. Amen. So marriage, spiritually understood, is the uniting of two souls already attuned to one another. Such an attunement already exists between the two of you. You join together today in love and gratitude for one another and the connection that you share. We bless that in you and see this connection deepen and continue throughout your lives together. So now I'm going to read from the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of mortals and of angels but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith so as to remove mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away all my possessions and if I hand over my body so that I may boast but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part, but when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became an adult, I put an end to childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then we will see face to face. Now I know only in part, then I will know fully, even as I have been fully known. And now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, and the greatest of these is love. So now please turn and face each other. I invite you to breathe and fully take in this moment as you recommit 
to your love. You're going to speak to each other one at a time, so decide who will go first. I promise to you to be your best friend, to share with you all of my love and my life in good times and in bad, to respect and cherish you from this day forward. Nothing shall become more important than our love for each other. Okay, switch. <laughs> I promise to you to be your best friend, to share with you all my love and my life in good times and in bad to respect and cherish you from this day forward. Nothing shall become more important than our love for each other. You may seal your recommitment with a kiss. Aha, beautiful. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So congratulations to all of you. We did have a, I do have a very special gift. It's a beautiful uh, certificate for today. And Cassandra has one for each one. So we'll go in order. So first will be Ron and Annette to receive. So um, if you'll come to Cassandra, she's got it for you. Ron and Annette. Here, come over here, babe. William and Francine Stein, Miriam Cruz and Lisa Charlo, Daniel and Victoria Dulce, Mark Pugh and Robert Collins, Maureen and Raymond Chance with Lady Mo and RJ standing in, Frederick and Renee Cotto Lewis. Daryl and Rich Rowe, here they are. Craig and Don Barton. Texie and Stuart McLean. So we bless each of you in and after the nature of Jesus Christ. We see your love as holy and we bless you and thank you for sharing your love at CCU. Bless you. Bless you. Beautiful. And enjoy your Valentine's Day. Yay! photo right up here can we do a photo right up here uh oh that means I'm on the floor again <laughs> all right glad you guys made it back that's awesome
<laughs> oh, no, not that again. <laughs> 